This is case of the week number six, testicular epidermoid cyst. I'm Dr. Dan Koval from Radiologist HQ. This is a scrotal ultrasound showing a sagittal view of the testicle on the left, and you can see that the bulk of the parenchyma looks normal and homogeneous, but then we have this well-circumscribed hypoechoic mass. There's also a small hydrocele, which is anechoic, consistent with simple fluid. And you can see we're using a linear transducer here, which we typically do for scrotal ultrasound because it has higher frequency, and that gives us improved image resolution. Looking at another sagittal image, you can get a sense now that there are some concentric rings within this mass, alternating hypoechoic and hyperechoic rings. And when we add color Doppler, notice how there's absolutely no internal vascularity. We see normal testicular flow here with these arteries and veins, but when we interrogate this lesion, we don't see any flow. And again, look at that alternating band-like appearance of these concentric rings, bright, dark, bright, dark. Here on these images, we again see that onion skin appearance, but then we're also starting to see some prominent central echogenicity, which is another finding that we can see with these tumors. Here's an image showing the normal epididymis here, which is often physiologically less vascular than the adjacent testis. We again see no internal vascularity within this mass. This is a cine clip showing the internal structure of this mass quite well. You can see those multiple concentric rings very nicely here as we scroll through. And notice how also it's very sharply demarcated with the adjacent testis. There's no ill-defined margination. So let's look at some key points for testicular epidermoid cysts. So this is a rare benign intratesticular neoplasm. It's actually most common in the second to fourth decades of life, and it usually presents just as a painless mass. And it will classically have this lamellated onion-like appearance, like a bullseye. And you'll see these alternating hyperechoic and hypoechoic concentric rings. And this appearance is because it's a cyst filled with layers of keratin debris. It's lined with this keratinizing squamous epithelium. And the key is it will be non-vascular and sharply marginated. And even on MRI, it will show no enhancement. And it's useful to recognize these tumors preoperatively because they might be treated with conservative surgery. The management is somewhat controversial as these were originally diagnosed with orchiectomy, but increasingly they're treated with enucleation, organ sparing surgery, if frozen sections of the mass are consistent with epidermoid cysts and the tumor markers like AFP alpha fetoprotein and beta HCG are negative. All right, thanks for watching Case of the Week, Testicular Epidermoid Cyst. You can catch these lectures each week by subscribing to our podcast, where reviews are delightfully appreciated, <laughs> YouTube channel, or by following on social media. Until next time, remember, radiology is life.